time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Thursday, April 4th. Blood is in the streets, my friends. Blood is in the streets. Yes, I'm excited, Anil. Red's my favorite color. <laughs> uh, so I didn't do as good as some of you all, but I got smoked out of some of my price action trades up here. I said I was just, just going to trade the morning. Book some profits before the Fed heads started speaking. I stayed small, but just kind of scaled in. Won a couple of them and then got smoked out of a few. So down about 2,500 total on those. I was just trading four lots. And then, but my uh, early Rick hit 35% in my challenge portfolio. VIX uh, started contracting a little bit, so it didn't qualify by the time of late Rick entry. So just the one in the challenge portfolio, that was good for 2100. And then I discretionary in my other account took the late Rick, uh, closed four of five of those for about a $3,200 profit. And then I still have one on, which is this one here. So if it, if it closes below 5,200, I'll I'll take max profit on that last one, which will be good for another 2,500. Uh, of course, NDX out of bounds. So that one's going to be a loser. Um, that's about it for me, my friends. I'm just, I'm just glad to see VIX sniffing 16. Uh, so SPX is down. A little over 1%, 1.1. Down day is if it's down more than 0.6, but not over 1.2%. So I'll be letting my bots roll for down day power hour, which tranche one will come in at about in about three minutes. Looking for the $4 strikes, two to one calls to puts. That is my plan. So right now, Trunch one qualifies, but if we make another flush lower, it'll be out below that 1.2%, so it would not qualify. So it could be a situation where tranche one qualifies, but tranche two or three might not. If it would keep going down, we'll see. Didn't do any futures trading today. Unfortunately, did not see that one coming. Apparently, a Mr. Mester opened his mouth, said something, saw a couple little headlines on financial juice.
So let's see, we'd be at the 5195, 5170s. So 25 wide. Twenty five wide with some call skew. I like it. So my tranche one will start firing in three, two, one. Lift off should start trying to come in here. We're going down. Now we're now we're below, so now it's not going to qualify. We're down 1.3 percent. So I'm going to let the bots make the decision. Of course, it depends on where Trade Steward has this. It's going to be a little bit different than what I'm showing here, depending on where it has the had the open. It bounces back up above one point two percent. It's still in my window. It could still fire, but out of bounds for now. I do still have one put from my earlier trade that I bought for 20 cents and it's at $16. <laughs> I'm just going to hold that little guy for now. How high can we go? Oh, 1.4%. Okay. So my rut hedge from yesterday was up nicely. Now it's back in the, well, this is the one from today. That one's up. The one from yesterday went back into the valley after being up a couple thousand, unfortunately, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Sixty, and you bought it where, Elliot? This one was from my one of my price actions that I was trading. I looked at my order. I got in at twenty cents, and it's at fifteen dollars. Pretty close on this one. A hundred more bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my last Rick Runner. Go ahead and book it. Still going down. VIX above 16. Let's go, baby. All right, so that one's gone. Let's see, I guess Chad decided not to participate with us today. Didn't hear from him. Doesn't look like he's on here though. <clears throat> no. I mean, we're getting downright dirty nasty. I mean, Keep in mind, though, I mean, S&P is only down 0.8% on the day. 
So a little perspective too. We're just at the lows of the last couple of days. So it's not like you can't keep going. Let's see what the bloodiest stocks are. DJT, AMD, Square. Nothing over 7% lower, though. Still some green. Still got some stocks in the green. Meta's up 2%. Coming down. It was up more. New all-time high today. Bitcoin up 4%. Gold, new all-time high, but just up a little bit. VXX, I've been looking at that. The volatility on that's getting high. I'm going to... I might... <laughs> I might start a... VXX position here by the end of the day. Start small and scale into more if, if we get some follow through on this. And that's a big, nasty, big, nasty red candle. Yeah, my PMM positions are set up well for this. I mean, nothing, nothing great. Or remember, we're only we're not even down one percent here. Definitely create some opportunity to add to them. So my time flies. Oops. Moss graph is off, but Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close my April 19 time fly.
don't know where this thing's trading. Bouncing all over the place. All right, filled at 315 on the diagonal. April I mean, this butterfly is bouncing all over this place. I don't know what it's trading at. VIX hit a high of 16.35. <laughs> All right, filled at four ninety on that fly. All right, just posted that in the butter, excuse me, butterfly channel. Okay, what's going on here? Dick K is trying to bet me on something. Dick is outside the Bollinger Bands. Um, yeah, I'll take that bet. <laughs> I think we go lower tomorrow. I'll take that bet. Yeah, I'm still I'm still two barbecues down to you. <laughs> should we just should we just make a double or nothing here? Just You want to go for 4? Four? 4 or nothing? Short premium trades coming back to center. All right, you're on, Dick K. Uh, you know, I've won the last four bets against you. I just, you, you didn't take the other side of them. I have witnesses, though. I, I bet you a couple times you weren't on here. So I'm, I'm kind of on a hot streak, to be honest. <laughs> All right, a little bounce off the lows. Needless to say, short butterflies are not going to be in play today.
look at the uh, 5175. It's trading for 50 cents. I mean, I want to do something. I feel like I need to do something. Something small. I tried to get filled on some short calls up here on that first little bounce, and then it ran away from me. Maybe we'll get a big MOC number at the end of the day. If we start if we start pushing new lows in SPX, but the VIX doesn't push new highs, I might consider. Trying to catch a little falling knife with some puts. <laughs> How did financial juice pick up so quick? They are, I mean, they are fast on their news. Yeah, they little typo though. <laughs> Barbecue futures are juiced right now. What are you guys doing? Is anybody doing anything? My long my long put that I bought for ten cents is now worth twenty one dollars. If we break lower your buying puts. I might I might sell those to you. <laughs> Down one point four percent from the open. What do we got here? Is that what is it? A three sigma move? There's the one standard deviation. Maybe four. All right, I'll try to sell that put for I'm gonna put twenty five bucks in there. So make another flush.
I'm my own man, Dick K. I do what I want. <laughs> as long as she gives me permission. <laughs> I'm about to sell Dick K some puts if we break lower again. The bet is wherever we close today, my bet is that we close lower than that tomorrow. Not sure I've ever bought a put for 20 cents and sold it for $22. It's going to hit my $25 limit. Hit it, 25 bucks. All right, let's see if this VIX, we're hitting new lows in SPX, VIX creeping up. Let's see if VIX hits a new high. If not, I'm gonna try to catch a bottom. S&P down 1%, NASDAQ down 1.8, 1.18. Russell down almost one, Dow down a little over one. So all, all four indices about the same. I'd love to see this rut hedge go sideline to sideline today. It was way up here, up a couple thousand. Now it's down the valley. Let's get to the other side. I just need a. I just need about thirty more points out of rut to the downside to get to get out of the valley. Down one and a half percent from the open. Been a long time since we've seen that. Yeah, that one should be back to center. It's profitable. But to hit my profit target, I'm looking for... I've had to get out for like, I think $44. It's at 61. So it's got, yeah, like you said, 43 days. So I'll be taking that off next week.
All right, so we ticked a new low. VIX did not tick a new high. We've got 40 minutes to go. I'll give it, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. I wanna see another flush. Dick K, did you buy some puts yet? That's my indicator. If Dick K is buying puts. I got to sell it to him. Yep. Be, sh be sure to let me know. I mean, bear markets are so much more fun, aren't they? I mean, we're not in a bear market. Don't get me wrong, but bear days. We'd have, we'd have to get down to 4,211 to be in a bear market, 20% lower, or 4,200. So we got some room before the media says that we're in a bear market. So my remaining time fly. <clears throat> Looks like it's up know, somewhere between three and six hundred dollars. It's so not quite to profit target. All right, SPX creeping back down towards lows. Hedgehog's doing well.
Yeah, you're you're due to give some of that back, I think. Can't keep all that. Spread the spread the wealth, Dick K. <laughs> all right, here we go. New lows. Vix not not pushing. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this little grind lower. If I'm gonna sell puts, I need a I need some capitulation. I need a flush and then a rip back up. My Tradier account is out of its drawdown, thanks to that Rick today. New, new equity highs on that account. So all of my my, all of my accounts are right under or at time highs. My futures one's down a little bit from its very peak. Actually, it's a little bit down. All right, here we go. There's new VIX, 16.4. Let's see where this thing goes. <clears throat> push, 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 baby. Fifty one fifty five. Vix up to sixteen and a half. See if that's all it had. Let's 
Still got 30 minutes to go, my friends. Still got 30 minutes. NASDAQ down 1.4%. My 5190 puts that I sold at 25 bucks are now 34. Hanging out on the 95 Delta. Yeah, where is Chris Crash? There he is. NASDAQ approaching 100 points to go to 18,000. The VIX still climbing. Oh, no doubt, Crean. You know he called Pelosi. I'm a little surprised gold's not pushing today. I guess Bitcoin's the, really the new inflation hedge. Just kidding. All right, hello, can we go? All sectors red. Still got some green stocks. Meta still holding on. Tesla's still up. Well off their highs, but still green for the day. We gotta have we gotta have everything red. Really get this thing moving.
Yeah, I'll give it till tomorrow, Meech. I told you that's why I only did one lot because there's, you know, we could have trouble. <laughs> uh, that, that must have been someone else. Never following Meech again. <laughs> New lows, 51, 53, new highs and VIX. These little stair step downs are, dang are the dangerous ones. You're trying to get long, that is. VXX, yeah. I'm going to be... Let's see. Let's take a look. So we really got 15 days or 43 days in VXX. I'd go to the 43. The weeklies aren't great. They're pretty wide. Twenty nine day. I'll look at something like this, like the 1412 in the May 3rd cycle. I just I think we're gonna get some follow through to the downside tomorrow. All right, I'm going to do a little starter position in VXX.
All right, I just posted that VXX trade in the options selling. Are you going to get VIX 17? <laughs> We did have a little spike above 17 on February 13th. Other than that, we haven't seen VIX 17 since October. I don't know, White Tiger. Never know. Never know. I I I don't think it's a flash. I think I think we're gonna have at least some decent two sided action. I mean, look at look at this move in SPX since October, right? I mean, that's just insane compared to just a visual of the price action before that, right? I mean, we had a nice little run up there from March to July of twenty three. But you know, most most it's usually usually don't have that kind of parabolic straight up move. I mean, it's not unprecedented by any means, but might be time for some two sided action as opposed. To, got to smoke out these by the dippers. It's about time they got they got kind of lulled to sleep by the buy and the dip. Every pullback, just buy the dip. So we have, we have to we have to crush their dreams, and then we can, uh, you know, get back to normal normal market, quote unquote normal. Thought maybe we'd see a move like this after the Fed actually reduced rates, but I just don't, I just think this inflation thing is not dead. Five minutes till MOC. My trades are will mostly be uh, based on the <clears throat> overnight VIX move. So I'm not sure what I'll do tomorrow yet.
All right. Maybe we put it in the bottom, but <clears throat> I'm not going to play it. See what MOC brings us. I mean, that, that just, a big bar, just it feels like a little bit of capitulation at the top. Short-term top, anyway. And uh, Dark Avengers, yeah, I mean, my my challenge portfolio, it's set, so it's going to do whatever it does. As far as my other trading, though, just kind of have to wait and see. S&P down 1.2% from yesterday's close, down 1.72% from today's open. All right, MOC number in one minute. I leave them on. Fed day, I'll turn them off. But that's my only real main no trade filter. But I'm always monitoring too, so I'm not just leaving them on and not paying attention. All right, listening for FO or uh, market on close number here in just a few seconds. Early March bond threat, sorry, that March bond close is valid. 3.3 billion to buy side. 3.3 billion buy side going long. Three point three billion buy side. Initial reaction after the buy side number, a little dip. Let's see if we get our rip. It's 
got to be some end of day buyers stepping in. Yeah, E. Allison, on a big move like that, you're never going to get enough credit on an end-of-day fly. So the 55s right now, for example, are trading for not even a dollar, maybe a dollar. So on the MOC, I'll, I take six of my 10 off at a five point move. So I got long at 5207. So if it gets up to 5212, I'll sell six of my 10. Then I'll ride the remaining ones into the close. No bounce? Come on, where's my where's my MOC bounce? It's coming down. Gonna need a bounce. I'm gonna get stopped. Nice, Tom. It's awesome. That deserves a flame. Anybody else on MOC with me? Elliot? I know you're on it. Meech? Great. Meech is on it. We're going to lose. Come on. Little pop. Five minutes to go. VIX got up to 16.92, back down to Tesla and Meta. 
We're both green. <clears throat> Well, we're back down. Did not get any follow through on that bounce. Three minutes to go. I had never been stopped out until a couple of weeks ago on an MOC, and I got stopped out, and it looks like I'm going to get stopped out again. Ten points. Two minutes to go. I always put it at 10 points away, so I got in at 07, so it's at 52.02. Or, I'm sorry. D197, yeah. Stopped. No MOC winner. This thing's going to close near its lows. Uh, TS Trade, you may want to scroll through the channel. You'll see a lot of a lot of people made money on this move. I made money on a couple of ricks. Ended up to down twelve hundred on my price actions after that long put paid me. Pretty good day. Not nothing earth shattering. New opportunities is the biggest thing. Put the VIX back above 16. Got to wait for the close to see where the line in the sand is for me and Dick K. There it is. Just above the lows. 5147.27. All right, Dick K. It's on. It is on. All right, tomorrow. Is April 5th, Friday. So we'll be streaming live in the morning for Zero DTE. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Everybody have a fantastic night. See you later.